Aloha, Internet. Sure has been a while. Don't know if you recall, but one of my friendly GQs has given us the challenge this summer to come on whenever we want, so this is my time. And uh, he also issued the challenge of shooting somewhere a bit exotic, right? So right now, most exotic place I could find was on my lovely vacation in my favorite place in the world. That's right, Ottertail Beach Resort in Ottertail, Minnesota on Ottertail Lake. Not exotic enough for you? Is that is it? I can hear, is it not exotic enough for you people? Not exotic enough? Well then ladies, look at your man. No, back to me, no, back to your man. No, back to me. You're in a lake. That's right. Your favorite GQ is in a lake. Look at that. Pretty far. Pretty far. You're in a lake. And so my summer has been going pretty wonderfully. Pretty overly wonderfully. Um, it started off with me and my great cousin Nick Nordman heading to the beautiful San Diego, California, where we just relax, and that's what I like to do all summer is relax. Um, since then, I've turned 20, which was a big accomplishment. Turning 20 was nice. I've been alive for two decades, and also for the 4th of July, I went to my grandma's lake cabin, hung out there with my lovely family, and now, that was about two weeks ago, or whatever the 4th of July was, now I'm at my favorite place in the world. Yeah, that's right, better, I just went to California, and this is my favorite place in the entire world. Um, right now, my mama and brother had to drive back to Sioux Falls, so my brother could play the regional tournament for his baseball or whatever, but my daddy's here, and Nick will be here in a couple hours. So yeah, this is a blast. This is, uh, this is where I go every summer. This is where I disappear to for a full week to hang out with my family. And this lake is just brilliant. I don't know how well you can see, because um, that's another thing. Um, you're currently in two plastic bags. I'm, I'm a safe guy. One's for safety, one's for emergencies. The safety one's already worked with some splashy waves. The emergency one has not had to be used yet. But, uh, yeah, so if it's really crackly and bad sound, I'm sorry about that, but you're in two plastic bags out in the middle of a lake, so cut me some slack, foo. Um, other than that, I don't really know what else there is to say. In about, what's it, like a week and a half, two weeks, I don't know, something like that, I'm going to be going to Warp Tour with a bunch of my buds. i um, going with shirtless Brandon, as you remember, but Brandon, I don't know if he's got anything on this. Look at me. I'm shirtless today, and I think I'm beating him in shirtlessness. Um, yeah, I'm going with Brandon. I'm going with Keith. Keith is great. You remember him. He's the one that always has really quiet videos. Yeah, that guy. And uh, Rob's is not going. Connor is not going. Um, but someone else is. Teenac's going. The guy that issued the challenge is going. Whoa. Um, it's going to be a blast. And then... After that, we're just gonna chill until I go back to school and hate myself. And so, this is my GQ video. Not too exciting, but you're in the middle of a lake, so that automatically beats everybody else's videos. I think on my personal channel, The Mr. Phrase, um, I'm gonna be throwing up a vi more videos of my great vacation. So if you wanna check those out, I'm gonna be, uh, we always cruise every year, um, like pretty much every day, multiple times a day, we cruise, uh, down this little creek that cuts through a golf course and we get a bunch of golf balls and it's a blast. And so I think I'm gonna actually film an entire trek down one of those, down, down one of those adventures. Film my entire adventure. And so, you know, if you wanna see that, maybe I'll post a link if I even shoot that, who knows. Won't be able to upload this till I get back because the internet here is not very good. But otherwise I'm having the time of my life. No doubt, um, this is super duper relaxing. And I don't like going back to school because it's not relaxing. I mean, ugh, that's just depressing. So, do you think you can go underwater? That's my next idea. The water here is very clear. I don't know if, you, if, if, if you're getting reflection or what, because I can't see the screen. But the water here is super clear, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to dip you under. Um, if you get scared, just hold your breath. It'll be over in a couple seconds. Did you see anything? Did you see anything? Did you see a fish? Find another fish. Ooh, it's bubbling up. I think that might mean it's getting wet. 
abort. Oh yeah, and also, um, Nick and I, as soon as he gets here, we're gonna eat a little bit of lunch. Eat a little bit of lunch, but then we're gonna take some kayaks, go from that beach to that beach. That beach to that beach. Way over there. And then we're gonna have to go back, because you can't just go one way or you'll be stranded. That's just how it works. So we're gonna go from that beach to that beach in kayaks. Hopefully. If he's up for it. Because I am. Wish us good luck. Righto, so I just finished watching that video and it turned out much better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, it turned out nice, even the underwater portions, and you didn't even get wet. So I thought, you know, I, let's just keep shooting video. So this is actually where I'm staying, um, the actual cabin. Ooh, pretty. It's actually been redone this year. Like, we didn't even know this was going to happen, so they gave us this nice. Look at this. New cabinets, we have a dishwasher now. They put in LCD TV. Ooh, this is where I live now for the next week. And to everybody who went to Okaboji instead, bad decision. Uh, this is where I live. This is the bed I sleep on. This is the bed Jared or Nick sleeps on. This is the closet with all of my clothes. Hmm. Here is where the parents' bed is. Parents' bed. There's the lake you were just in. You probably can't see it because the contrast is bad. Let's go to the bathroom. Not let's actually go to the bathroom. Let's just walk there. That's gross. Um, look at window out of the bathroom. Just in case you need to look at people. There's me. And then there's a shower. Why am I showing you the shower? What am I doing? Um, but yeah, so this is where I am, and it's kind of nice. So if you're ever wondering, where exactly does Lou go for a week every summer? This is where I go, in this nice place, and I chill here. I think I'm just going to go sit in the sun for a while. Sit in the sun. You can't see because that contrast thing I just talked about. But there's a bunch of people sitting in the sun, so I think I'm going to go sit in the sun and read some Stephen King um, and wait for Nick to get here. But another interesting thing that I thought I would bring up to you is that I've kind of gone isolationist since I've been here. I've gone a bit isolationist and I've cut myself away from everything. Um, Facebook, which is, I don't like it anyway, is done. I'm, I, not a whole week. I have internet here, but no Facebook. Twitter, which I swear my life to, I've been on it for not even a year and a half and have almost like 4,000 tweets. Not once, not once am I using Twitter at all. I, I get a bunch, I made the mistake of not turning off all my phone updates, so I'm getting a ton every day, but I'm not reading those. And you know why? Because I'm not even using my phone. That's right. I wanted to have my phone off the entire time, but since my parents aren't quite hip enough, they just have one phone for the both of them. They do not each have their own phones. So like now, when I just told you my mom's driving back, I gotta have my phone on in case an emergency happens and mommy needs to call daddy. But otherwise, I am not looking at my phone at all. So if you text me, too bad. I'm not looking at it. If you call me, too bad. I'm not answering it. Um, at least until Saturday when I get back home. And so it's been really nice. People, have you done this before? Have you just turned off your phones for a week? It's so relaxing. It's like, it's like I'm little again and I don't have a phone. I wish I could think of like a really good like way to end this video, like a good joke or something, like, but I can't, so I'll see you in a week. I thought of a good way to end it. Here we go, Okoboji kids. This, or a tent. This, or a tent. I win.